But I think that you have to understand how the GCC came about and the fact that it's a relatively new institution founded in 1981, uh, in part in response to the Iranian Revolution of 1979. And the GCC, which is the Gulf Cooperation Council, is a group of six countries, Kuwait, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, and Oman. And they form most of the Arabian Peninsula, except for Yemen. And this was, uh, the GCC was formed as a way to create a counterbalance uh, to uh, Iran, to try and uh, collaborate and cooperate on economic and political and military issues, particularly economic to begin with. And so this was supposed to be the framework through which these new nations, most of which uh, were really formed uh, only in the early 1970s, of course Saudi Arabia in the 1930s, when the Al Saud conquered uh, the Arabian Peninsula and today what is now Saudi Arabia, uh, Kuwait in the, early, uh, in the early 1960s, but the rest of the countries in the 1970s when they came out from under a sort of protectorate of Great Britain. So these are new countries, it's new formations, and each country is finding its way in terms of its geography, its history, its culture, and most importantly, its boundaries boundaries that uh, have not been clearly defined. And so the countries have differences, all of them at one point or another have a spat with one another over boundaries, over politics, over the vision of the country, uh, over uh, resources, for example oil and where the lines draw in terms of oil or gas. Um, and uh, Qatar in the last 20 years has charted a more independent path from its larger Saudi brother. Uh, and Saudi Arabia, of course, naturally the largest country, the largest population, the largest resources, sees itself as sort of the big brother of the GCC. And Qatar, the, lower, the littler uh, brother. And Qatar, by virtue of its natural gas, and development of its liquefied natural gas, which now uh, it ships around the world, by virtue of having uh, a military presence with the U.S. base uh, at El Udaid, by virtue of having El Jazeera, which gives it soft power, and a very strong economy uh, based upon other kinds of diversifications, um, has now become a more independent actor, is trying to find its voice, and Qatar, Qatar will tell you that they find themselves sometimes as a small country squeezed between the bigger powers in the region. So trying to find an independent path. Well, sometimes the independent path that is the sovereign right of any nation is not to the liking of the neighbors next door. And in this case, uh, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia do see uh, what they allege a Qatar to be doing or standing for to be antithetical to their way of thinking in terms of the politics of the GCC. So that in essence is sort of part of the, uh, of the debate. Of course you have other countries in the GCC like Oman and Kuwait that have taken a very independent stand. I, uh, Kuwait has tried to mediate between the different countries. So it's not like all of the GCC against Qatar, but Certainly, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates does have a different uh, perspective in terms of the politics uh, of the region.